Ciao ragazzi, come stai? Tutto bene? Benvenuti alla prossima lezione di italiano. Um, hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to your next Italian lesson. Um, this lesson is going to be using a new resource called Text Debate. It's an online resource, but I'm just going to guide you through how to use it so that you can make the most out of it. Um, it is connected to house and home, but it's a slightly different topic. Just um, a reminder that Andra tutto bene, the slogan that you see there means it will all be okay. And that's the message of hope that's been used throughout Italy during this pandemic. Okay, prima di tutto, your starter then. Abinali frasi, okay, so link the phrases. Dieci parole in italiano, dieci parole in inglese. Okay, e fa una pausa ora. So just take a pause now, give yourself a chance to come up with these answers. Ecco ci sono delle risposte. Ok, numero uno, I have, in italiano, ho. Numero due, c'è. Numero tre, primo. Quattro, soggiorno. Cinque, stanza. Sei, azzurro. Sette, sedia. Otto, cucina. Nove, letto. E numero dieci, tappeto. Ok, finito. So these are all phrases that, um, or words that you should recognize if you've been following the, um, the previous lessons on house and home. Today, we're going to be working on recall and reading skills, recalling vocabulary from your long term memory and also developing new vocabulary. So the new vocab is household chores and the old vocabulary is opinions. Okay, so text debate. This is the website I'm referring to and there is a link. This is in class charts as well for you, but make a note of it if you wish. And this takes you straight to the activity. When you click on the link or you type it in, this is what you will see to start with. You have a text in the box, okay? And the text here is all in Italian. There are some things in there that you should recognize. So for example, the word casa, meaning house, the word noioso, difficile, possibly opinions that you remember. But then the words that are in blue, okay? Things like lavare i piatti, lavorare nel giardino, rifare il letto, Okay, these are the pieces of vocab that are new. These are the household chores. So if you just hover over them, you'll see that there is um, an arrow. And when you click on it, it shows you straight away what that means. So you can have a look through the text, clicking on these as you go, and these will show you what the phrases mean. As well as that, underneath, you can see that there are 17 phrases here from the text, and they are there as a vocab list for you. So you're able to copy this down or print it out and then you've got a vocab list in front of you while you're doing the tasks. The first thing I recommend you do is actually try and learn these phrases and the best way of doing this is using the flashcards. Okay, so if you click on the left hand side, flashcards are there. It asks you to click to start and it says mi piace and then there's a question mark. So you have a think about what that means. When you think you know what it is, click on it. There you go, there's your answer. When you're happy, you want to move on, you can click the tick. Okay, non mi piace. Again, what does it mean? Click on it. I don't like. If you got it right and you want to move on, then you can click the tick. Preferisco. Again, I prefer. If you hover over the cross, okay, that means that you got it wrong and it's telling you that it will add it in again later. Okay, so if you're getting them wrong, it will keep them in the activity. That makes sure that you come back to it later on and you don't just skip past it. Now, what you'll probably find you need to do is do this a few times until you get used to what the vocab means. Alternatively, you can obviously make your own flashcards. Um, some people like to just have paper copies with the Italian on one side, the English on the other, and then you just turn them over. When you're happy that you've done that, you can either restart it, which does the activity again, or you can click on the back button and that takes you back to this page. There's then loads of different options for learning the vocab. So if you want to play snap, for example, you can click on these activity things there, just get rid of that. Um, click to start. If you think that the two cards there match, then you would click on the snap button here. Okay, so for example there, preferisco does mean I prefer, fare la spesa does mean I do the shopping, that one does mean I do the gardening, but that one doesn't mean that. Okay, now the interval there is quite short. It doesn't give you much time to think, but you can change it. 
okay so change it to five seconds to give yourself more of a chance stirare that doesn't mean put my stuff away longer this time to think about it non so that doesn't match okay and so on again either restart or go to the back button there's loads of different activities you can try all of them you can try a few of them the multi-match if we do it average one okay one in five phrase at the top non mi piace and you choose the one that it means and if you choose one that's wrong it gets rid of it and then when you click on the right one it moves you on okay just a couple of other things for you to look at once you've got used to the vocab okay and you're happy that you know what the majority of these these words and phrases mean if you go to the text box at the top it then gives you activities which are more connected to understanding the text and memorizing the text so if we go to the tiles let's start with a two by three one and it gives you six tiles there and you have to try and put them in the right order okay so you may remember that non aiuto molto a casa is actually the first one so i'm going to shift that up to the top and it's turned to green which means that i've got that right after non mi piace lavare i now lavare i is followed by the word piatti okay to wash the dishes so we move that up and again it shows me that i've got that right if for the next one i don't really know but i have a guess at that okay it hasn't turned green so i know that that one is wrong again you can increase or decrease the difficulty once you know the text really well increase it to something like 15 tiles and then obviously it becomes a much harder task okay you always are trying to remember the order that's what this task is testing you on i'll just go back and show you a couple of other ones but then after that it is up to you to work through these on your own and um, the gap fill exercise is always a nice one non aiuto molto a casa is your first phrase it's in the same order as the text that you've seen all along what you need to work out is which of these words goes where and you just drag them in you can see that straight away that's gone red that's gone red that's gone green so you know that the ones in green are the ones you've got correct okay so that's what you're going to be working on for this lesson today hopefully that demonstration of the software has helped out and you'll be able to go through now and choose all of the activities that you want to do just remember the functionality at the bottom here so making it harder or easier all the time changing it to 16 words here once you feel like you know that really well okay you can make sure that the auto check button is ticked and that will ensure that you see the green and the red showing you if you've got it right or not so going back then that is what the initial thing looks like um, by the time you get to the end you should know the text really well just one thing that isn't in the vocab but that you might not recognize aiuto is a phrase that means help okay so non aiuto i don't help molto meaning much and a casa meaning in the house so i don't help much at home okay va bene if you still need some more practice if when you have done that you still don't feel like you really know it particularly well um, you can do further revision and you should already have used Educandy a few times. Educandy.com, when you go to the home page, it will ask you to enter a code. And that is the code that you need for the set of vocab that has been in today's lesson. You will spot that there are some new words in there, but in the next lesson, we will start to go through the remaining chores so that you've done the, the whole lot. Okay, va bene. Allora, abbiamo finito per oggi. Buona settimana e ci vediamo fra poco. Have a good week, everyone, and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao, ciao.